was wide open, man. today for dinner and I'm so excited because I actually have never been there it's like super hard to get a reservation but if you know friends then you can so we got one and I'm really excited to go I think the menu is pretty similar to Matsuhisa so I think some of the things are gonna be the same we also have like this black cod dish that we really like so we'll see if black and cod so we'll see what we end up getting but of course i will show you guys everything my forehead looks a little shiny should we fix that but i like the dewy look though okay anyway i'm gonna switch into my bum bag i love this so so much you guys like it's i know that like you have to like lift it up to open it and like get your stuff in it but it's actually more practical than the palm springs mini just because this is like right on you and then you just lift it up and you can see everything in there whereas the palm springs mini you actually were not able to see all of your items like there was kind of like a hood and you did have to fold down the front flap but i don't know just something about that i just like wasn't really into yeah that's what it looks like inside i have my zumani organizer and i'm gonna put a few things in there just to show you guys okay i'm not gonna put like everything everything i might end up using this clip actually for my hair because i will probably not wear my sunglasses after all so let me just try to do that right now and then i cut my bangs a little bit shorter but I need, I think I need to like redo them before we go because it's been a few hours. So that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna add my lip oil and that's what I have on today. And I also have on this lip liner, coconut lip liner. So I'm just gonna throw that in there, sanitizer. Mm, I'm not gonna bring my sunscreen only because I already put on sunscreen before I did my makeup. And we're only gonna be there for a little bit. So my card case, I cannot forget that. And we're only gonna need a mask from the car to the restaurant. So I'm just gonna bring one of my disposable ones, like the pink one. Uh, I don't want to bring my Korean masks just because I feel like those are better for indoors and so the other ones I'm just gonna use like when we're out and about my hand cream This one says that it does not make your hands dry So it says leaves your hands feeling soft and I have to refill this soon I have my little mini pochette. This one is so tiny like oh so weird um, I have my big cats one as well, but this green print is like in amazing condition and it's been like two years already so I really really love it and I actually feel like that one has worn a lot better than a lot of my other pieces and so I'm just like obsessed with the Big Cats one. I think that's like my most favorite favorite animation and I know it might seem like kind of dated because it's like red and I don't know like not everyone likes the cats but you guys know <laughs> Luna's right there, my bingle. Luna, say hello. So yeah, she is like my number one person in my life. <laughs> number one person, thing, I don't know, cat, daughter, kid. So yeah, I'm like obsessed with her. I don't have much in here, just like probiotics. I have some wet ones. I have this Dior glow oil, but this is a little bit too sticky for like, even though I'm only gonna have the mask on for a little bit, um, I just feel like it's a little bit too sticky, so lens wipes, I don't need that today. Um, I am going to bring my Listerine strips, then I'm also going to bring my wet wipes. And then I don't need these <laughs> right now. Um, and I'm not going to bring the mini pochette just because it is a little bit, uh, I don't know, like this This has like a little bit of a keta on it, but I still am like, like I, I usually like don't care at all, but for some reason for this one I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Uh, I think I might switch back into the Big Cats one because if I don't have to use this one, like I kind of don't want to. Azure would be really nice today, but I just have on this 
top. I'll have it linked down below. I might have a try on for the brand up already, so I will have it linked here if you guys have not seen it yet. I don't even know where the camera is. I'll leave it here if you guys have not seen it yet. A card holder fits nicely in there. What ones? I'm gonna put them in this front pocket. I didn't really do much today. I just studied a little bit and then my boyfriend was just watching football all day, so that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys my outfit before we actually leave, but we're not leaving for another hour, I think, so it's gonna be a while. So that is my bag packed. You guys can see I still have so much room left in here, but um, I don't really need anything else with me. I just need my card holder and that's probably the main thing that I could take, but I just wanna like subtle flex. So I'm gonna bring this one with me today, but I really love this so much. It's just really cute and just practical. I want it to be like more like slouchy like that. I also just added this Noah ring from Ana Luisa. Hi everyone, so we're gonna go to dinner in Malibu. We're going to Nobu today and it's gonna be my first time there, so I'm really excited. And this is my outfit. I will have everything linked down below. This keeps going up, but this is like a knotted like shirt and then you can just like put a bow, but having a little trouble there. And then I'm wearing my pants from Sashik and then my shoes are Superga. And then I'm just wearing my bum bag, of course. I thought this would look so cute and I can wear it like any way, but right now, I don't know. I've just been liking wearing it like this. So yeah. And um, I'll show you guys the food and everything, of course. See you later, bye. I was super, super bummed out because I really wished that we would have gone when it was daytime, but I don't know, for some reason, I thought 7.30 would be a good time, but it wasn't. I think it was better like maybe six o'clock because then towards the end of our meal, we would have been able to see the sunset, but we went ahead and went to Nobu. They do have the virtual menu, so I went ahead and showed you guys that. You guys can look at the prices and slow it down if you guys wanna see that. We ended up getting the scallop sushi, and this actually is not on their menu at all. You do have to ask for it. And then we also got the salmon sushi with the truffle, but here they did charge two dollars extra for the truffle oil which was kind of ridiculous in my opinion but it was still good and i did like it the only thing that they were missing from the scallop sushi was the fish eggs were the fish eggs so i do want to mention that mm. Mm. isn't that great mm. Mm. I really love this place for the ambiance. It was just such good vibes and I love being outdoors now. I'm just like so obsessed with it, especially if you can eat by the beach. I just think it's a really nice feeling and it was also just very relaxing. We had sake as well and we had the house sake, which was not that expensive. So that was pretty good. But it's good. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. That's like way too... It's strong. Killed it. Yeah, uh, the flavor. Texture is good. Mm -hmm. I really do not recommend the Barcel Spouts. They had like a weird texture and then also a weird taste. It was just too much citrus. And then we also got another round of the scallop sushi and the salmon. And then my boyfriend wanted the blue crab roll. So we went ahead and got that. One. I agree. I can taste the salmon better when it's not on there. It's a different thing, guys. This is the rock shrimp. This was actually a really good dish, but it was just too much for only two people. So I would recommend to get it if you guys have like three or more, but it was really delicious. So that I do recommend. I wish I had some right now. Okay, we're done with this, right? I'm impressed that you found scallops. That I what? You found the scallops. Oh, oh well, thank you. Huh. Scallop in the road. Yeah. Is that me? Yeah. yeah it is. Mm. I think the last scallop is mine, but you can have it. I'm getting full. I think it was mine. You're not being nice. No, it's not. It's not? Okay. No, it's not. Mushroom. You got a mushroom? It's a chili mushroom, yeah. <gasps> I got this again. <laughs> 
I don't like this soy roll. Okay, you can have it. No, you can. Mm. I I really don't want. I don't I don't like that because of the lime. I'm sorry. Oh, that was mine. No, no, no. I waited till you were jamming it in. <laughs> I would not recommend the spicy miso eggplant because this was so foul. It was not even good and I just don't even know what that was. And it was so expensive for what it was. Like we are not price sensitive for anything, but that was just super crazy for whatever that was. And then we also got the ribeye with the truffle butter sauce. And then it also came with crispy onions. This was so good, but I would recommend to get it a little bit more cooked. Squeak. 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 <laughs> Hi, Louie. I'm gonna push it. Hi. 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 You're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. My baby. Can you hear her purr? <sighs> so pretty. Hi, guys. We got back at. I think we left at like 9 so we got back at like 9 30 so it's been about an hour i've just been doing a little bit of homework and i'm gonna start studying for one of my exams that i have this thursday and it's a pretty big one so i'm gonna wake up early and hopefully i actually might pull an all-nighter so but anyway i'm gonna study and do a little bit of homework i want to go to bed no later than midnight because i have a lash fill in the morning um, at 8 o'clock, so I have to get a driver at 7.30, so that means I have to wake up at 7, so I can get 7 hours of sleep. Hopefully I can go to bed in like the next um, 30 minutes, and then like take my makeup off and everything, so let's just get a little bit of studying in, and hopefully it works out. On this day, we went ahead and had lunch at Angelini. I did have work on this day as well as class, so I just met up with my boyfriend afterwards. And we came to Angelini, and this one is in West Hollywood. This is a really great place. A lot of old money also comes here, and it's like a really high-end trattoria is what my boyfriend called it. Their bread, I swear, you guys, their bread is the best. They put like some salt on it and some other stuff on it, and it's just really good. And then my meal was just a carbonara. <music> Hi guys, I have an exam at 8 a.m. and everything is like open book, open notes, open everything. Um, it's a lot of critical thinking, so I'm gonna study just for a little bit. Um, I also have a homework assignment to do, so I'm gonna do that and try to finish everything and then I'll go to bed because I was going to pull an all-nighter, but because it's open book, um, I think I'll be okay. Like, I think it'll be fairly easy. And then the critical thinking part, like, I can't do any critical thinking if I don't know the question. So, um, I'm just going to finish this up and then I'm going to go to bed. And I have my exam in the morning, so I will show you guys, like, a day in my life tomorrow. Because I also am going to do a lot of YouTube stuff. So, um, anyway, I think this is going to be the end portion of the vlog. So, I hope you guys liked it this week. There wasn't a lot going on either. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. I'm gonna film a day in my life. Um, I kind of like already started. I had a, an exam from eight to 10 and I got a few things wrong and they were like, like I'm like a little bit dyslexic, not gonna lie. So some of the, excuse me, I'm speaking. Um, some of the things that I got wrong were just things that I should have double checked or just maybe not have rushed too much so oh i'm just like so upset 
and like I feel like crying because I got a I got a 79% and it was all multiple choice and like all critical thinking um but I got a 79.5% and like it was out of 30 34 questions or something like that and um some of the ones that I got wrong were just ones that I could have I, I could have got them like I had the answer on my paper but uh like when I was doing my research last night I had everything written down and I had a study guide and I don't know I guess I just didn't really look through it thoroughly so oh I'm just like so upset so now I have like a B flat in the class and I really wanted but it just like oh, fuck man it just like really sucks like it's like I don't know I wish like I studied harder and like Oh, I'm just, I'm so upset. It's cause like, this is my first, oh, I'm crying. Why am I crying? This is my first semester back. So I just like, I just wanted to do really good. And now I'm, I don't know. I feel like, no, I just brought my grade down to like where it does not need to be. It's just frustrating. Like when you stay up and you really do your best and do all that you can do to study and everything and um i don't know i guess i just didn't review it enough or i just i don't know i, I really don't know <laughs> i need to like double check my work next time but i i literally took up like all the time that was given for to take the test like it's 10 right now it's 10 15 and i know like i know like some people might think oh it's stupid like you still passed and whatever but it's like it's just a high c it's not even it just like brought my grade average so low and i know some people might think like oh i just want to pass the class or whatever but like i do want to get a master's after this so it's just like really frustrating <laughs> I know I can't like cry over like this one exam. I mean, I can because I am, but I know it's not like the end all be all, but for it to be like the first exam, I don't know. I'm gonna wait and see what the class average is and hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully it's less. blackout last night so uh it was pretty crazy and we went to bed really early and i was gonna edit i had a quiz to do and so i have to email my professor to see if they'll forgive it um if it's late but we're here at malibu country mart and we're gonna do some photos right now i'm wearing my bum bag super cute and baby 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 come on yeah <laughs> Um, we got an acai bowl and then of course I got chili cheese fries. I was supposed to go on the Peloton, but we had a blackout, so that's my excuse. And I think we're gonna do photos like over there. I've done it there before, so we're gonna go for a little walk really quick. Hey guys, I got my chili cheese fries. I also have a Snapple here. I'm wearing my Nord Green watch. Today is such a great day. I'm so obsessed with this. It adds like a really nice like pizzazz to your outfit, pizzazz. <laughs> And my boyfriend's like out there talking to one of our friends. And my bum bag is there. Kiwi strawberry. Luna, why are you hugging your foot? <laughs> Luna, Luna. Wow, can you guys see that? Look at this. Oh my god, look at how crazy. Wow, that's so cool. Brighter and brighter. I'm getting blind. Wow, that's so awesome. Is that a double? Am I seeing doubles? I feel like I'm seeing doubles. I think it's just the I think it's just the door because it's double glass. Hi guys, I'm at the post office just shipping out some bag chains. And 
don't know if I, I really don't know if I have any more because I haven't like checked. I just quickly packaged these. Um, but we're gonna grab something to eat. We've had like a few power outages in the past few days, so really frustrating. Um, I was supposed to do a quiz and I didn't end up doing it when the power came back on and then it went off again. So I'm like a little bummed out about that. Um, trying to figure out. I need to email my professor actually to see um, what to do, if I can even still turn it in. We have a week to do it, but I always procrastinate. So I was gonna do it like when it was due, like an hour before it was due and we got a power outage, so yeah. And it's been taking them a long time because I guess there are a few in LA. So really crazy right now. Just getting it. I have these pink packages, so cute. And then we're gonna try to grab something to eat, preferably something that will take a while because, like I said, I don't even, I don't think the power is gonna come back on tonight. Last night it took them 12, no, like 14 hours. We were without power for 14 hours. So, I just have my fun back on. I posted an OOTD of this outfit, so I'll have it here if you guys can see that. Um, one more time. So I'm just wearing it like this. Sometimes I wear it like here. And I, I never put it in the back because I feel like someone might take something, but super cute. So I'm hoping we can grab something good. I don't know like what is open right now. It's a lot, a lot of places like randomly stopped doing outdoor dining. So I don't know what's going on with that, but anyway, let's go. Hi guys. So we came to get some food. I got Chick-fil-A. I've been eating Chick-fil-A a lot these days, especially like, cause I only, I had exams you guys and I was like not cooking. Like I felt so bad. I wanted to cook this week and get back into it just because, um, just because like I wasn't cooking at all and we were going out to eat all the time because like I didn't have time to, I didn't have time to like make, like make anything. And I don't know, I just kind of felt like I, you know what? I actually feel more secure with my seatbelt on. I don't know why. Um, anyway. I, yeah, so I just had like way too much going on with my exams and I just oh, it was just so hard for me and I'm happy they're over though at least for now um, I have like a quiz like I told you guys I have a quiz every week for one of my classes But I couldn't do it because of the blackout. So that kind of sucks. But anyway, yeah I just got a spicy sandwich and I got it without the pickles and I also got two cookies if you guys have not tried Chick-fil-a cookies like you have to they're so good and so there's a lot of people out in Santa Monica right now. I don't think we usually, we usually like never come out this late. Mmm. 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 I told you guys like, I had my big exam and I don't, it's not like a midterm. I don't know if it's a midterm. I think we, we have like two exams for that class and then one final. So I guess like those two are considered midterms. One more bite. drink I got the diet lemonade I love their lemonade so much mm. when I lived in Rancho Cucamonga I went to Chick-fil-a all the time because like I lived really close to one mm. I wouldn't say like across the street or anything but if you guys go to if you guys go to Victoria Gardens a lot you guys know where the Chick-fil-a is and I lived like maybe like a mile and a half or something like that from it. Mm. Mm. I've been wanting to edit vlogs, but you guys know I like doing my vlogs like a little bit. I don't know, like I like always adding something different or editing it a different way and I just like haven't, I just don't have time to be creative or anything. So, um, but I will probably work on one this weekend just to try and get it up for you guys. I 
I haven't been I haven't been cooking much or anything. It's like so sad, you guys like like my life was like this before I started school and now it's like <laughs> I mean like it's all good but I just so much time dedicated to studying. I forgot what it was like 